All right, let's just jump down and show what's happening here at 63. At 63 is where we change timbres going into the clarinet like this. Also, we add a note there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 68, Open. In today's episode, we set out to continue working with leashes. We wanted to fine-tune the dynamics, and we wanted to try using timbres, and you just heard us demonstrating using the clarinet timbre. We then wanted to continue working with the animation and add a third image. So we're going to show you that updated animation. Yes, we are, which is down here. And here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this are several things. We like that we tuned the dynamics and we did in fact make sure to reflect that in how our energy diagram is calculated. It now includes the passing note timbre in it. You can see the clarinet being added here, here, and here. And if you take out the timbre, well it's never obvious what's going on, but you can see there's a little qualitative change. There's some of the shiftings in the relative peaks here and there. Uh, we also like in the animation how it, uh, the we set it so this is basically the critter image except shrunk down further and it jumps in the exact opposite direction on the passing notes 
well, we call it the target now, the mini critter and the main critter. And so they give that nice kind of leaping and bounding effect. We also like having the trails of the critter be long enough to kind of imply there's the leash because this is called leashes. And then for this uh, mini critter, the tail is short. So there's a gap between it and the critter. So critter is chasing mini critter and never quite catches mini critter. That's kind of the story. Um, our ideas for next time. Well, we did start brainstorming what we're going to do for the next series. Uh, we feel like the timbre animation is really good here. And we also realize that we're over 90 uh, stream highlights at this point in this series. So we started looking at what we've done in 2020 and uh, composing a ballad series used the C minor major scales. The composing in 2662 used, as you would imagine, that scale. And then uh, composing in pentatonic parallel was the first time we came up with the idea of using a shadow. And we took two scales and we and we knew what their consonances were for their minor major and for their full intervals these are their minor major full intervals and then out of that we added them up and got a shadow scale and then the notes that got left over we called bright and it turned out it could be turned into a, a, a tritonic parallel scale two scales of three notes each that added up to um, four then, the one we're in now, we started with 3443R, which is a custom hexatonic, took 2552, which is a regular pentatonic, and then we worked with that and composed several pieces. Then we added it up and got a shadow scale, which was amazingly 11 notes out of 12, so we highlighted that. And then we were able to deconstruct a shadow uncommon parallel hexatonic, and then most recently, and that you what this leashes is composed in a shadow full pentatonic parallel scales. So that's kind of cool. And basically our idea so far for the next series would be there's four more scales we have not worked with. And we can look at adding them and getting shadow scales and seeing what might come out of them. But we also are want to continue brainstorming it. That's part of our idea for the next time because we're intrigued. Could we have predicted that we took this scale, which is 5 plus 5 equals 6, this is 5 plus 5 is equal 8, and then 6 plus 8 equals 9, which we thought, oh, you know. But here we had 7 plus 8 equals 11. We call this music math. But basically when you add notes together, some of them overlap and some of them don't. And so you get you never get, you know, 5 plus 5 equals 10. You get 5 plus 5 equals 8 or something like that. That's what it means to be parallel minor major scales. They have to have a root in common, and they have to have the neutral in common. And then after that, you know, all's fair in love and music. So we're just wondering, you know, what if we combine, you know, the 2332 three, two with the 4554 five, four, or the 3663 three, three with the 2442? Two, four, four, two. We don't know. And we're hoping, though, if we look at the, we might guess a little bit by looking at the intervals over here. Once we do that, we might then say, well, the light, we kind of picked light and dark scales and combine them calling shadow based on the one with the higher consonants was light. And then with the darker consonants or the lower consonants is dark. And, you know, so anyway, we recorded all those. So... That's the game plan. <laughs> we'll also, um, we still do have fawns and does that we could uh, continue working with. Um, I think we accidentally erased that. Oh, that's the wrong place up here. Revisit fawns and does. Final tuning animation. Uh, we have a we do have a huge spreadsheet with all the energy factors we've come up with this year in these composing series, and we've written on it on our project wall with pencil. And we haven't added those new things. For example, we haven't we've written you know adding two scales gets a shadow scale. 
that's a whole new technique. And then keep looking at brainstorming ideas for the new series. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you next time around. Do tune in. Do come back. Your being with us makes a difference. Take care. Keep on streaming.